Hi everyone, this is Byron Martin at Logies Greenhouses and we grow many tropical fruits here as container plants at Logies. And some of them are very well known, mangoes, avocados and such. Um, some of them are a little more obscure. And this tree I have by the side of me here is one of the more obscure ones. This is called noni, which is a tropical fruiting tree or shrub from the Pacific Islands. It's a fairly vigorous grower and if you go to any of the islands, particularly Hawaii, which is the easiest for us in the U.S. to get to, you'll find it growing pretty much everywhere along the coast and it's in people's yards and so on. And so I'm trying to like um, get you interested in something that mm, really isn't for eating but really has more of a medicinal therapeutic use for it. We grew it here at Logies and surprisingly enough it fruited so easily in a pot. Now this little plant right here is about maybe a year and a half old, could be two years old from seed, and here it is at probably four feet and look at the fruit that's on this. It is literally just fruiting all over the place. It has a really interesting fruiting uh, cycle to it. This is the beginning of it. There was a flower here, and you can see the tiny little flowers that are forming all along this sort of little bumpy round fruit. And that, here we go right here, that is actually continues to grow to this size. You see there's still a flower right here. And obviously this fruit is producing seed as those flowers um, go in, and they are self-pollinating, so the seed is viable even as a single fruit. And then they grow larger and larger, and down here we have some of the more mature ones, and back here we actually have uh, one of the ripened ones. It's a very cool looking fruit. It has this kind of egg shape to it, although this is a small one, so they can actually get twice as large as this and even thicker. And it has these all these little spots on it where the flowers once were, and actually down inside of that is where there's each one of these little round areas is where the seeds form. Now this isn't ready to eat, not that you'd want to do that, but or try it. This has got to become soft uh, when it ripens, and then obviously if you when it gets ripe, you smell it, and it really has that uh, very strong odor to it. There is an industry around processing this fruit into a more consumable item um, that has, you know, its therapeutic properties. And actually, it doesn't taste like this or as bad as this. It actually has a more palatable taste to it. It's usually a liquid that um, is consumed. So in terms of growing noni, uh, we grow it warm, so if generally when you see it growing in the um, islands, it's always near sea level, it's not high elevation, and so we keep it above 60 degrees. We give it as much sun as possible. This plant had been outside for a period during the summertime, so you really want to have a sunny spot for it. It can take a little bit less than that, but you never see it growing too much in the shade. It actually grows into a fairly large tree in tropical areas and gives shade. We grow it typically in terms of water like we normally would bring the soil to dryness then thoroughly saturate it and there's going to be a period of time when it really slows down its growth not completely it's not something that has a dormancy or semi-dormant state but slows down its growth and then of course you want to uh, reduce the fertilizer that you're giving it and um, you know let it slow down on its own and you'll see in the springtime it, it starts to regenerate we don't have too many problems with insects with it i believe there may have been a time when we did get some mealybug on it but it's pretty resistant to thrip and aphids and spider mite and cyclamen mite and all those kind of things that tend to affect our indoor plants and you know the other thing is is it does get to be a fairly good sized tree but you can prune it I think if there's one caution in terms of its culture I would say it's probably root disease um, keeping it too wet um, that's why we grow it in a clay pot which is helpful keeping it too wet with soil too wet particularly during that winter period you can get some um, root rot or root disease in it so you just want to watch that and it's a plant that is not if it gets dry you're not going to get a heavy infestation of spider mites on it. So you can, in the wintertime, grow it down. It's got those shiny leaves that tolerate the low humidity of the home. It really makes quite a nice specimen um, in terms of a fruiting plant. Well, thanks for watching. Noni is a very interesting plant to grow as a container plant in the north here in greenhouses and homes, just for its ability to produce so much fruit. And for those interested in health giving properties and such, it actually has an addition to that. Thank you for watching and visit us at logis.com for more information.